thank you. Cedar trees are one of the biggest challenges for crews fighting wildfires in our area. Well, today, Hutchinson Fire Science students worked with the Kansas Forestry Service to clear some of these trees out of Sand Hill State Park. D.D. Sun shows us why the work is so important. Tree falling! Hutchinson Fire Science students chop down invasive cedar trees at the Sand Hill State Park. It's all about fuels reduction and uh, get in here where other vehicles can't and eliminate the problem. The problem is twofold, how flammable these trees are. They're a real volatile fuel type. And how quickly they spread. Photos from the Kansas Forestry Service show in 1954 the only cedars, these dark gray patches. Today, every dark green patch represents cedars. Just about every evergreen you'll see here at Sand Hill State Park is a cedar. These are actually rust colored because of how close they got to those flames. They didn't catch fire, but the Kansas Forestry Service tells me when these trees do burn, they burn fast and with a lot of heat. As a fire comes through, it will uh, catch the needles mm -hmm. on fire. It, it wouldn't be uncommon for the flame lengths to be double the, the height of this tree and it'll just burn from the ground up and then it'll, it'll launch the needles and cause new fires. It creates very dangerous situations for fire crews. Estimated flame lengths uh, when the Highlands fire was burning anywhere from 75 to 100 feet and they're a lot harder for us to maneuver trucks around. These trees are part of the reason why crews needed help from the National Guard's Black Hawk helicopters to put out the flames. It's why these future firefighters are learning step back with your left foot to tackle the problem now. We just want to clean it up and hopefully reduce a lot of the spread of those fires in case those are to happen again. In Reno County, D.D. Sun, Eyewitness News. The students are using their spring break to work right now and help make the landscape and hope to make that landscape safer in the future.